Printing and pressing with Oki Digital Transfer Printers. First, let's look at the range of transfer printers offered by Oki. The Pro 8432WT prints on sizes up to tabloid A3. It uses CMYW toner and it's for use on light or dark materials. The C711WT prints on sizes up to letter A4. It has a CMYW toner configuration and it's also for use on light or dark materials. The Pro 6410 Neon Color prints on sizes up to letter A4. It uses CMYW and K toner in a swappable black or white station and it's also for use on light or dark materials. For this video, we'll only focus on printing dark shirts using the Pro 8432WT. The Pro 8432WT can transfer onto both light and dark textiles composed of 100% cotton, 50-50 blends, tri-blends, 100% polyester, and more. In addition to textiles, the Pro 8432WT can transfer onto hard surfaces such as wood, metal, glass, acrylic, ceramics, paper bags, and other substrates. Now let's take a look at applications and the file preparation process. These are the applications that work well when creating digital transfers. Adobe Illustrator, Corel Draw, and Photoshop. However, Photoshop files that contain transparent backgrounds will require a rip for them to print correctly. We'll focus on using Adobe Illustrator to set up shirt files. First, create a document sized to your transfer media. Next, if you're printing on dark shirts, create a rectangle and fill it with the color of your shirt. This enables you to see white text and graphics as you work. Name the layer Media and under Layer Options, lock the layer and turn off Print. Turning off that Media Simulation Layer's print capability prevents the layer from inadvertently being printed or exported to PDF. Next, create a new layer and lay out your design using text and, if possible, vector elements. Once your design is complete, you're ready to print the transfer. Printing the transfer. First, load the A sheet of your transfer media into your printer's multi-purpose tray with the mat side facing up. Next, print the file from your application using the following settings. For paper feed, select multi-purpose tray. Turn on flip horizontally or mirror print. For media type, choose the setting that's recommended for your brand of transfer media. Transparency, films, user type 1, etc. And under print mode, select white on. Also, make sure to open the face-up tray in the rear of your printer to ensure that you get a straight-through paper path. Finally, press print. Remove your output and review it. Most colored elements will have white toner behind them. Black and darker colored elements may not have white toner behind them as they don't require it. Your digital transfer is now ready to be pressed. Pressing the transfer. When you're pressing onto dark shirts, the printed A sheet must first be pressed onto a B sheet. Place the printed side of the A sheet face up, then lay the white side of the B sheet face down on top of it. You may want to lay down oversized sheets of plain paper or parchment. This protects the platen and foam pad of your press while also slowing down the cooling time of the transfer after pressing. Before pressing the B sheet onto the A sheet, you'll need to configure your heat press using the settings recommended for your brand of transfer media. Common settings for the A to B sheet press that work for many brands of transfer media are Temperature, 310 degrees Fahrenheit or 155 degrees Celsius Time, 90 seconds for A4 letter or 120 seconds for A3 or tabloid and pressure set to 2 to 3 bar. Apply the recommended settings to your heat press. 
Once your heat press reaches the targeted temperature, begin the press. When the time is complete, open your press and quickly perform a hot peel of the bee sheet using a smooth, steady motion. Next, inspect both sheets to ensure that the B sheet has completely transferred to all printed elements of the A sheet. For many brands of transfer media, it's recommended to trim all edges of the A sheet. This removes the white indention line at the edge of the page, which prevents it from being pressed onto the shirt. If you've laid out multiple copies of your design on the printed page, such as small logos, you'll want to trim those now as well. Now your transfer is ready to be pressed onto your shirt. You'll need to review the settings that your brand of transfer media recommends for this step. Common settings that work for many brands of media are Temperature, 310 degrees Fahrenheit or 155 degrees Celsius when you're pressing onto cotton, or 268 degrees Fahrenheit or 131 degrees Celsius when you're pressing onto polyester. Time, 30 seconds, and 2 to 3 bars of pressure. Apply those recommended settings to your heat press. Next, you'll need to align the shirt onto the foam pad of your heat press. Center the shirt without stretching it, and make sure that it's straight on the foam pad. Align the transfer onto the shirt with the printed side face down. Tools like a ruler, triangle, and even a sheet of paper can be useful in making sure that your transfer is straight and properly positioned. When the transfer is positioned, press it onto the shirt. Once the press time is completed, remove the shirt and wait until it's cool to the touch. It's also fine to let shirts sit for a longer period of time at this stage before peeling the transfers. You're now ready to peel the transfer from the shirt. Roll off your transfer using an extreme angle. Never directly lift the transfer from the shirt. For larger designs, be sure to keep pressure near the edge of the peel with your other hand. The final step in the pressing process is to remove the sheen and set the transfer. To do this, place the shirt back onto the press and lay a silicone sheet or parchment paper over the transfer. Press the shirt again for 10 to 20 seconds at the same temperature and pressure that you used for the previous step. Your digital transfer shirt is now complete and ready to wear, display, or deliver to your customer.